What's up guys, 3D Mo here. So basically, if you see my last video, the E3D V6 headache, I had tons of problems with the E3D V6 clogging up on me. So, put a little poll up to see if you guys wanted me to either toss it in the garbage or try it again. So, 75% of you guys said try it again. So, let's try it again. Okay, so here you have it. This is my new setup so basically i did a little research online and uh I, there was basically two main issues why this e3d v6 clocks one is insufficient cooling the other one is basically retraction so i was using the e3d v6 you know fang mount and thingiverse and um, i was also using the stock fan so I've basically come to realize that the stock fan and maybe the setup of the mount, I'm not sure if it's the mount or not, I don't want to blame the mount, but the stock fan RPMs isn't fast enough. So I wanted to start fresh, so I ordered another one. So I got a freshie and I started from scratch. The problem I ran into was I used a regular mount that's on Thingiverse. I'll leave the link in the description below. I did not have part cooling fan so I wanted to use I didn't want to steer away from E3D V6's fan that they gave you because basically they're selling a product that works so why change the setup so I installed the mount and I didn't have a part cooling fan at the time because I didn't have a mount which incorporated one and I did a few prints and uh, I did a couple of little ones uh, I'll get some for you Okay, so without a cooling fan, I decided to do a little mini vase. Now, mind you, this thing is tiny. It's about the size of my thumb, so we'll put it on here so you guys can get an aspect ratio of it. So it's a little tiny vase, came out. Now, I couldn't print anything small without it jamming. Now, so I printed that without a part cooling fan, and I printed the... Game of Thrones, Dragon Egg, put that out pretty good. I did get a lot of stringing, can't really tell if I cleaned it up because I don't have a pop cooling fan and I was afraid to adjust the um, retraction settings because I was having crazy clocks. So I decided to create my own mount as you can see here. Maybe we can uh, zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, now that we zoomed in on it, this is the mount I created. So basically, you guys are used to me having the dual fan mount, which I love. The only thing I didn't like about it was the fans that I chose were an RPM. Now, once again, if you could tell, I had an old Prusa fan laying around. So I decided to use that, and you can adjust the power and RPMs on it, obviously, through power. So I love the dual fan mount, so I basically cut the dual fan mount in half, literally I cut it and I put it beside the E3D V6 mount and I was just looking with my eyes and trying to figure out if I can come up with something so I decided to then head over to Autodesk 123 design. So I basically just split it in, Auto, in Autodesk, join them together created them as one object, printed them out, and my first go worked out pretty good. So as you guys can see, I have the E3D V6 now with the stock fan. I have the silicone sock. I have the Easy ABL sensor, which is the stock mount. This setup doesn't look the prettiest, but it's printing amazing for me. I'm going to show you a few things that I printed out. So let me get that so you guys can see. I've only printed out like two or three things. So I printed out this Ghostbuster, which is three, I think three pieces, white, red, and black. Came out awesome. It's only a little glue, guys. I got a little silly with the glue. So we have the Ghostbuster that came out great. And 
I also printed out a vase. Now let's zoom out so you guys can get a better view of this vase. So here's a vase that I printed out. Thing came out flawless. Look at this thing. No layer lines. Bottom came out mint. Hardly any stringing. And here's a little clip of me printing it out. But this came out better than my first try. I'll show you guys my first try with the E3D V6 with the gold PLA, which it took me like 13 times to basically get it to go. But you can tell, you can see a lot more layer lines. The extrusion, I don't know if you can zoom in on that. It looks like a pretty good print, but the extrusion was not consistent. This was all due to improper cooling. So now that I have the stock E3D V6 cooling, I'm not having any issues. So I am happy to say that this was successful this time. Now mind you, it's not the prettiest setup. I'll give you guys a quick look at it again. I got the Easy ABL. I got the E3D Thingiverse mount, which I merged into half of the dual fan mount, which I basically cut in half and regrouped it and printed it out on Simplified 3D, which worked out fine. I got the height of the part cooling fan just right, first time, which I'm proud of myself. Silicone sock, the Bowden setup, obviously. I'm using the clip so there's no play in the Bowden tube. I can actually bring my retraction settings to like five with no problem. I haven't had one jam yet. I did have one fail of a uh, serpent cup, which I can show you. I just cleaned it up before. But I think it's the model. It didn't jam up, which is great. This is what I came home to in the morning. <laughs> well, so I came home to this. So it looks like it was actually a beautiful print. It just got jammed, I believe, on one of these dragon heads. Now, mind you, look, it didn't even clog. It just kept on going, so I'm proud of that. So I did get a fail, but a few people are failing with the Serpent Cup. I didn't have that much gold, so I went with, you can tell, like 5% infill. I think that has something to do with it. When it came down to the dragon heads, I, I think it didn't like it too much. But anyway, I'm very pleased with this setup. And I'm glad you guys picked up the pole and basically told me to do it again because I am so happy. I'm getting the prints like I want them. It's basically, I'm almost at the point where I can set it and forget it like my Prusa. I want to thank um, Timmy from uh, Easy ABL. This thing is amazing. It works great. Uh, Mick Ewing, I used their um, extruder. I'm going to start screwing around with the TPU. It's not the best setup, not the McEwing setup, but just the Bowden setup in general with TPU is not the greatest. But I'm using their extruder. My plastic one kept on snapping. I was printing new ones. They kept on snapping. So I got the P PTFE tube going right into the gear. So there you have it, guys. My, I'm actually going to leave it alone now. My Franken... CR, CR10S5 is now done. I have the Canevo heated bed. I have the 1.4 firmware from Timmy, which is working out great. Um, by the way, check out his channel because I believe he's updating it very soon the one, to 1.5 and he has a better um, 
setup for the auto bed leveling. So check out Timmy. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description below. So I'm very happy. I have half of a dual mount, which I can thank that guy for, with the uh, Prusa fan, the original E3D V6, the ABL sensor from Timmy, and I'm not having a problem. Take your time, everything works out fine. So, I'll give you a quick little heads up of what I did to get this to print good and all my modifications that I am actually done with finally. I went with the build tech. They're awesome. Uh, it's been a lot of prints so far. I got a little benchy that was a little too close at one point, but other than that, the thing is fine. No, no hairspray, no nothing. Every once in a while I clean it with alcohol, even though you're not supposed to, but to get everything off. So I'm using the build tech. Obviously you guys know the Kinevo heated bed. I did change my lead screws. Now if you guys could take a look, these lead screws are not the same. I changed my lead screws. I bought them on Amazon, I believe. Um, if I can find it, I'll, I'll send you guys a link. I have it in my order somewhere. And I printed out these brackets that I found on Thingiverse because I was using those keys that came with the um, CR10 and it was so wobbly. This thing is no more shake. It, well, right now it's on, but it moves perfectly. Everything is great. I'm running OctoPrint, which is great. I'm going to thank Timmy again for giving me that. I have the Wi-Fi, the TP-Link Wi-Fi setup. I'm not using the new plugin that they had because I originally did it with the uh, Linux libraries. It's working fine. There's no need for me to change it. And that's about it. I don't want to run on. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll give you guys a few videos as soon as I can. Take care.